Hey guys, what's up? Um, just want to talk about the Blue Jay series and uh, you know things have been going on recently. Um, the series, we, our pitching was not there. I mean, until yesterday, we didn't really score that many runs either. Um, the the final game, we were in position to win once again, but. Um, our pitching was not good. Our bullpen actually. Blanton gave up four runs. Yeah, four runs. And um he did he didn't do too bad. He gave us a chance to win. We had a five to four lead till about the seventh inning and then the Jays went up by two. But then Greg Dives had a home run. Um and uh after that we were able to tie it up. I forget who tied it up exactly, but we um, brought it back to 7-7. Seven to seven. Oh, yeah, Victorino singled, and then uh, Rollins came around. So that was big, tying it up at 7. Then fucking Rod Barajas, the home run to dead center field. Where was he doing that thrust? When he was here for the one year, he never did shit. So that just pisses me off. But, you know, I'll get over it. Um, our bullpen hasn't been pitching well. Kondry has been terrible. After starting out the season so good, he's been terrible. Now, um, you guys know my feelings on Tashner hasn't been pitching lately, and thank God for that. Romero, he struggled a little yesterday, but he got out of it, and uh, we were able to come back, so it didn't really much matter. But one guy I was impressed with was John Maybury. Of course, as you all know, Raul Banez is on the DL, and, um... You know, Mets fans, I know they're happy for that because uh, we might actually come down to earth with our offense somewhat with him not in there. But he's on the DL. But Mayberry hit a home run yesterday. The only thing that I had to criticize him for was that one play when Roland singled and he went to cut the ball off and took his time getting to the ball and throwing it in. And Roland put his head down. He ran to second base. And, you know, he's a good player and he's guys are going to do that. So Mayberry's just got to pay more attention. But... I like what I see him from him. I hope they start him more than Dobbs. But at least Dobbs is hitting now. But I'd like to see the young guy in there and see what we got um, from him. But getting swept, not what we wanted. We just, our pitching, mainly our bullpen, just wasn't very good. Moyer wasn't very good, which I was hoping he could uh, turn around and not do too bad. But um, he had been pitching well lately. I was kind of surprised he got roughed up as much as he did. And in the first game, Hamels didn't pitch too bad. Gave us a chance to win, which he could have went later in the ball game, and then um, we could have won, and we got destroyed in the what was it, the tenth inning or whatever. It just seemed like we didn't really, didn't really have it in that inning. Um, so next up we have the Orioles, who are fresh off taking two out of the three from the Mets. So props to the Orioles. Um, great job by them to get two out of three from the Mets. So we're still three games up, and. Um, that's good, you know, I can't be too uh, mad about that because the Orioles play great. Um, but we got them coming in here hot, so we're going to have to, our pitching's going to have to get a lot better. Our bats are going to have to come alive like they did in the final game against the Jays. And we really got to do some things, do what we're capable of doing. Our bullpen's got to be a lot better than it's been. Madsen's got to get back on track. And we need Lidge back and healthy because... We need our closer because we can't keep blowing these games and giving up the leads late in the game anymore. We just can't be doing that. Um, but I want another thing I want to address real quick before um, before I end this video. As far as the we run this talk that's been floating around for the past week, who cares? Like. I honestly don't care, but I'm just sick of hearing the Mets and say we run this. It's when do you run this? Like, I saw, yeah, when it first came out, Fighting Phil's he made the first video I saw him and Bank Bombers, not Meet the Amazons, like you stupid Met fans seem to think. Meet the Amazons was right there, like a couple days afterwards. Yeah, but he didn't start it. All right, so I'm just so sick of hearing and the we run this crap. You don't run anything. You're not even in first place. There's honestly, there's really not that many Met fans to talk trash with. Me, the Amazing is about the only one. If you'd make a video once in a while, it could actually be fun. You know, because he's actually an adult. 
Um, the people holding it down for the Mets, they got a bunch of, like, you know, young kids in there. I mean, come on. And don't even get me started on T-Strong Mets. You've already been put in your place. You are a moron, so just shut the fuck up. Seriously. You're, like, 12 years old and threatening to, uh... Trying to beat people up, oh, come to this shitty field, I'm sitting in whatever section. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, we're gonna go and beat up a 12 year old kid, come on. Like, don't even bring, don't even say shit like that, you're a retard. But, and then one last thing, and um, also, saying that Harry Callis isn't the greatest broadcaster, one of the greatest broadcasters of all time, you're, you're a dickhead, you're just an asshole. Like, just shut the fuck up. I mean, any person besides you Met fans, all other fans of other teams would probably say that Carol's, Harry Callis is one of the greatest broadcasters to ever call any sport. You ask, like, um, you ask anybody, they're going to say that. You're just dickheads. That's Just show some freaking respect, you stupid assholes. I'm just so tired of these Met fans. You wonder why everyone hates you, because you're a bunch of overconfident douchebags. I'm just... I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. And, um, I'm just sick of it. Except for Cheat Me Out. Cheat Me Out's cool. He's not as obnoxious as most of you. Although, every time any one of you makes a video, even him have to say, Oh, Phillies lose too. Yeah, I know. So, I know my team's not doing that well. You don't need to tell me. Not like you're gaining any ground. You ain't getting it done either. K-Rod sucks, so shut up. So you ain't the only one with bullpen problems, alright? We'll get it back on track. Don't worry. We'll, uh, I'm sure we'll be making a trade towards a trade deadline. Um, you guys can't have Brad Penny. Uh, I don't think we'll be getting Brad Penny. I think we'll be getting a better one than that. So, whatever. So, that's pretty much all I got. Got the Orioles tonight. Antonio Pistardo. Uh, Rich Hill is pitching for them. About two and one pitchers. So, we should be able to win if Pistardo can, you know, not give up too many hits. Hopefully, we can go six or seven innings. We need a pitcher to go deep into the ball game. Because I just don't trust this bullpen. So then we can throw out Romero and hopefully Madsen can get us back on track. But at least we got the Orioles kind of an easy team. But they are playing well, so I'll give them their props. I'm not going to take them lightly at all like I'm sure Met fans did. Now, uh, I said they got a chance to do something good. I mean, I didn't think they were going to sweep them. But I said 2 out of 3. I wouldn't put that out of the question. But that's great. Um, good job, Orioles. And hopefully we can uh, take advantage. Um... Of what's up next. I'm not sure the Mets are playing. Um, not sure they're playing, but we'll see. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm actually going to be going to the game tomorrow night. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get rained out. So, that's pretty much all I got. So, we get coming off the sweep. We need to sweep the O's. We really need that. But uh, that's it. I'm out. As always, go Phils.